Hi, my name is Vikas and we'll be uh, talking about my PGM project presentation about predicting gene regulatory networks using Bayesian network models. Uh, gene regulatory networks are, uh, are an interconnection of, of multiple genes which uh, where the parent gene regulates uh, the expression level of, it, of, the, of the child gene. Um, so these so, so such a network can it can be easily modeled using a graph where uh, where the vertices uh, denote denote the genes and the edges represent the interaction between the genes. Uh, the objective of the project is to reverse engineer this phenomena and find the regulatory network using the patient uh, using the observed uh, uh, gene expression data. So the, the data set was uh, obtained from the Dream4 in Silico Network Challenge. Uh, it contains networks of sizes 10 and 100. Uh, to go over Bayesian networks, we know Bayesian networks are a cause and effect relationship uh, structure um, where each random uh, where the random variables here are gene expression levels. Uh, we discretize the random variables by discretizing, uh, discretizing the uh, gene expression levels into uh, underexposed, overexposed, and control. Um, now we we try to model the, uh, uh, the the relationship between these uh, these genes uh, by learning the structure of the Bayesian network, um, and here the prob the local probability model will uh, will denote the uh, the how how the parent uh, expression level is is uh, the parent gene's expression level affects the expression level of of the child gene. Uh, to, to learn the structure, we used a Bayesian scoring scheme, and since this is a, uh, since the joint probability on the structure is multi uh, is multinomial, uh, we assumed a directly prior uh, we assume a directly prior on the structure, and the scoring scheme is B, uh, Bayesian directly uh, equivalence uniform scoring scheme. Uh, this is a very popular scoring scheme, and uh, the the hyperparameters for the scoring scheme uh, are considered uh, are considered uniform across uh, all distributions uh, of the parents. So using uh, using this scoring scheme, uh, so uh, the inferred network structure uh, was compared uh, against the gold standard provided by the challenge, and the true positive and the false positive rates were computed. Um, and I also plotted a, an ROC curve for varying parameter by varying the uh, the hyperparameter for the Dirichlet prior, um, and the true positive and the false positive rates are, are denoted here. The Bayesian network model is not a uh, not a good performing model for this data set because it ignores the temporal data that uh, that we see. Uh, in in uh, in our data set so uh, so i also model the uh, i also model the data set using a uh, a, a dynamic bayesian network uh, a dynamic bayesian network is is pretty much like a bayesian network except that it incorporates the temporal data into its structure the microerror data that we have is is spliced into individual uh, time instances where each uh, random variable now is associated with a uh, with also with a time variable. So uh, uh, the 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 random variables in uh, in time slice t are different from the random variables in time slice t minus one. Um, we assume that we assume that the uh, that the Bayesian network follows a Markovian property where the um, the, the where the uh, where the random variables at time instance t plus one are independent of uh, all the other uh, 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 the other time instances given time instance t, uh, and we also assume a stationary property over the uh, over the structure, which means that the transition probabilities are consistent. Um, and now we're trying to model the uh, model both the prior structure and the transition structure. You uh, uh, using uh, a modified Dirichlet scoring scheme, and uh, we modify our Dirichlet score uh, according to this, uh, uh, according to the uh, these, according to B naught and B transition, and now it has uh, two uh, terms corresponding to uh, 
to the prior uh, to the prior network structure b b naught and also the transition network structure b a transition um, here the transition network is nothing but the uh, the regulatory network that you are trying to model um, and we are again using um, um, an equivalence uniform score so uh, so the alpha parameter is same for all variables and um, now we can see that the results um, and we also and we again compute the results in uh, network structure and we find the true positive and the false positive rates um, and and I also plotted the ROC curve uh, similar to the to the Bayesian network case where uh, we altered our alpha parameter we can see that that the uh, that the curve has slightly improved and uh, and my positive uh, rate has improved compared to the Bayesian network model. All right, uh, so that is it. Thank you.